Um, I wanted to talk in the next 20 minutes, I wanted to talk about ring doorbells. Now, first of all, I'm going to give a plug for Bill James. I know Bill James is, I talked to him on Friday and I said, please come and listen to this because Bill James, of course, with APCUG is doing a whole series on windows, but he's doing it also on automation that will also include home ring doorbells and, and also on a number of automations. And he has a different one and he uses for his doorbell. Uh, uh, today I'm going to cut to the chase and because we only have a small amount of time, what I wanted to do is talk about the five ring doorbells that you can do. So, so you've already made a decision, you're going to get a ring doorbell and you've made a decision you're gonna get ring, which is made by Amazon and you go to the store and you have a whole bunch of models to choose. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna talk through which model you should get. Now, most people want a ring doorbell for a couple of reasons. One of them is when packages arrive, they like to be notified. The second is of people who um, steal the snatch and grabbers, they come and snatch the, the, the packages and, and leave. So there's a variety of reasons why you might want one of these devices. Uh, and these are not security cameras, these are doorbells. These are little doorbells that, that will record and, and, and give you, uh, and I'll show you exactly what we're talking about. So when you go to the store, you're going to see that there are, uh, these are four, and I'm gonna show you the fifth in a minute. But uh, on the left-hand side here, you'll see this is the, the ring doorbells have been out for a while now, and it's, um, let me just get here. Uh, you'll see that this is, uh, this, oh, just a minute. The, the, uh, the one on the left here is the, uh, the $99 one is the original ring doorbell. Uh, and this is, uh, we'll talk about this in a minute. This is, uh, this can be used under battery or it can be hardwired in. And it, uh, it is a, it's not a, an, a, it's a 720 HDI, 720 camera. So the camera isn't as good as the uh, the HD camera here on the video doorbell too. But this uh, this particular one, you can, uh, there's a battery in it or, or you can hardwire it in. The second one that you'll see is the video doorbell two. And this is the same as video doorbell one, except the batteries, uh, again, it's, it's, a, it's a battery operated one, or you can hardwire it into your doorbell. So exactly the same as the first one, but it has a better camera and it has uh, the battery pops out in a, in a uh, uh, it's a bigger battery in it. So uh, this is a, a little bit better model. Uh, then we have, this is a, actually a peephole camera. This, this one here that you actually can put, if you live in a condo, you want, it's a battery only and you can clip it on the peephole in your door. So uh, on the outside. So if you're in a condo or an apartment or something like, like Byron, where you live in, if you wanted to put this on the outside of the door, this would be your, you could do this. And this is battery only. And then this one is the one I have, and this is called the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. And this is, um, this is wired only. Now your doorbell that you have on your door will be either wired or it will be not wired. And if it's wired, then it will be 12 volts and it will go through a transformer and you'll have a little chime and you push that, it goes ding dong. But some of you may not have wires at your front door. So that's why, uh, that's why there's these different wired and non-wired options. And then we're gonna talk about, I'll just, before I flip the slide in a minute, I'll show you the latest one, which is the, is the video doorbell version three and the three pro. So I'm gonna tell you about that in a second. The reason I, I wanted to discuss this with everybody is that there is a universal problem with video doorbells and it's the complaints. And this is where all the complaints about these devices arise. And, the, and I'm gonna be showing you some videos on this and exactly why this happens. The whole problem is, is that when you look at doorbells that have batteries in them, like the video doorbell and the video doorbell two here, the first two, uh, and also you'll see with the version three, I'll show you in a minute, they go to sleep. So they all go to sleep. And when the motion comes along, the motion detection comes along, the, the doorbells wake up and start recording. If you've ever watched a delivery person delivering to your house, or you watch a snatch and grabber come to get your parcel, they race up to your house, 
leave or grab the parcel and leave. So the problem everybody complains about these cameras is, is because they only get the back of the head. By the time the camera wakes up and turns on, the person's leaving and they get only get the back of the head. And they're all complaining that why can't they get, get them when they come up? And that's a problem. And it's a problem with all the cameras that use batteries because in the video doorbell here and the video doorbell two and the three I'm gonna show you in a minute, is they all have batteries or they have they have batteries or you can hardwire them in but the software is still the same the software still puts them to sleep doesn't matter whether they're hardwired in or battery the software puts them to sleep and they have to be woken up by motion in mine which is the video doorbell pro which is only wired in there's no battery in there then it is on all the time so it doesn't need to be woken up. So that is why this one is the, the one that I would recommend you get if you, if you have wiring. All right, and this is the, uh, and this is the, uh, this is the uh, video door, but this is the latest one, this is the three. And so uh, I'm not gonna go into, the big difference with the three is this new one, is it works on the 2.4 and five gigabert, gigabertz wireless, um, um, you know, um, that you've got on your, on your router. So it, it uses both, which is good. But what the three plus is, the one on the right here, what's the difference between the video doorbell three and the video doorbell plus? Again, this has a battery in it, but to sort of combat the problem of getting the camera going, it takes some slow motion, it it's called a pre-roll. It takes some slow motion black and white while the camera is sort of getting woken up, right? So it's trying, they're trying to overcome this whole issue of, of, of not waking up fast enough, okay? Now, uh, and again, here's some prices. Um, I'm not gonna really spend a lot of time with that. Here's what happens when you get, this is the package I got, the Pro, and it comes with some, some face plates here that you can put on. And I also, this is it's, on the left-hand side, you'll see it's mounted on my door. And on the, uh, on the right side, you'll see this is at the bottom here, they have chimes. And I really like the chimes. You can plug these chimes in wherever that you want in the house. I have a bunch of them around. And so when someone pushes the doorbell, the chime rings and you can put all sorts of different things on the chimes. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, when you get the, uh, when you get your, um, the other thing about these doorbells is they're insanely easy to install. So these are the parts in my, uh, in my ring, uh, my ring doorbell. These are the parts that I got. Now, the first thing you're going to be worried about is when you go to hook this thing up, you might be scared of electricity. Well, the first thing you do is you turn the power off, but if you, if anything happened, we're only talking about 12 volts. It's not even going to give you a shock. So we're talking about really, really low power. The other thing is they give you all sorts of connectors here. Oh, the other thing is, so you take your old ring, you take your old rusted little doorbell off to put one of these on, and there's two wires. Now, if you're like me, I don't know anything about positive and negative, right? It's, it's, it's Greek to me. It's electricity doesn't matter. There's no positive and negative on the ring doorbell. doesn't matter which side you hook it up to. They even give you some extra wires here. So if you have a, if you have, if you're short, you can just add the wires on here and they will, uh, it, it extends the wires out a little bit from your house. So it's easy to connect onto the doorbell. And so this, uh, this is really simple to install. You need one other little thing you need to do is you need to um, come up here and this is the chime this is the old chime that we have in our house. It needs, you need, it's another little device you need to clip in and it's called a power booster. This particular, this particular machine needs a little more power and this is called, this is a power booster and you, you have to just, this is our, the doorbell chime in our house. You pop the cover off and you just clip these on. You do need to know the positive and negative, but it's well, well marked on there and you need to clip this little device in there, put the plate back on. All right, so that's how you that's how you install it. Now, uh, this is um, the analysis that I'm going to show you. I did not make this video. I'll show you my video I made in a minute. On the right hand side is the original Ring doorbell. That's the $99 one. On the left hand side is the one I have. Okay, 
Now I'm going to play you. Uh, I'm going to play you a video, and you're going to see the video of someone coming up to the house with both these running at the same time. All right, here we go. So here you share your sound. We're not hearing anything. No, no, yeah, no. yep. You can hear me. Okay. Let me just go back here. Well, we'll keep going here. So the one on the the left is the first thing you're going to notice if we come back. Let's play this again. This is mine. You'll see this just as he comes around the corner. This is the original one. You see how much later it was when the back. This is the one on the left is on all the time. The one on the right took a while to turn on. Right? You saw the difference. Okay. Now watch what happens here and away they go. So you'll see how, how much better that worked. Now watch again as we come back up in here. And this is the, uh, the $99 one and you'll see it's low light and watch what happens when we actually bring the picture up. You'll see it's very, 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 very grainy. And you'll see if so if you try to look at him and this is the original $99 one that took a while to come on you'll see that it's quite grainy actually when you try to look at him. This is the, uh, this is the, uh, uh, you know, that's again, that picture sort of, you can make out who it is, but it's so, so the $99 one doesn't really, the camera isn't as good as it needs to be. Now here's the one that I have. He comes up and you can see him right away. It's quite clear and, uh, and away and away you go. And that's, that's, that's the difference. Now, we'll go to the next one here, and we're gonna play this one. Now, watch, I want you to watch a couple of things. First of all, this is my house. This is my house when we're, um, when we're, uh, when the, this is an Amazon delivery that came to my house. So the first thing I want you to notice is that how fast the camera's on all the, the, the motion sensor's on all the time because it's hardwired in all the time. And as he comes around the corner there, You'll see him coming right up to the house and notice that he's running. Okay? They all the delivery guys run. So watch, watch this. Now, if you'd had, if you'd had, um, if you had, and that's the, that's the, the still image of them, in which you can see quite clearly. But if you had had um, one of the, the $99 one or an Arlo doorbell or something like that, all as you'd see was the head when they turn around and left because the camera doesn't turn on fast enough and that ends up being a problem. So uh, I just wanted to show you that. Let's go back to a uh, screenshot from current slide. Let's do this now. And we've we did that one. So this is, uh, so you can combat that. So if you look at, this is my driveway. And as you come up the driveway, you'll see, um, you'll see the camera from the door is tucked in right, at, right beside the door there on the right hand side. So uh, the other way that you could do it is put a second camera looking down the driveway and you'd be sure to get them as they came up the driveway. And, and, and you'll see this in a minute. I have an Arlo camera sitting there and this is the Arlo camera sitting there to pick up whoever. But if you had, didn't have the Arlo system, then you could have a second ring camera out here that would pick him up as he's coming up the driveway. Now they're gonna have to come around the corner here up onto the porch, but the camera, my camera's on all the time. But if you had one of the cameras that was battery operated, of course it's gotta turn on. And by the time he gets around the corner, he would deliver the package and you'd, you wouldn't catch him because you just, by the time it turns on, you're gonna get his head as you're leaving. So here's my camera, is it sitting, it's sitting by my door here and you can see it and that's, uh, that's what you just saw. And, uh, and here's, uh, here's a close up of it. I would tell you, I, I got a mounting plate that actually turns it a little bit and turns it turns the camera a little bit towards the door. You don't need to do that. I, it was sort of a waste of money doing that because because it's it's a really wide angle camera and you really don't need that. 
And the final thing was, um, in these cameras, uh, sorry, if you have a house that's built before 1982, in 1982, for some reason, they changed the uh, transformers, the frequency. So if you have an old house that's before 1982, it's very likely the transformer won't work in these new doorbells. Uh, the only thing it would work is in an old chime that you have that's 1982 because it won't work in anything else. So uh, I re these are so the the uh, the transformers are cheap. They're 20 bucks, and uh, but they do have three wires and 110 volts. So you might need an electrician to help you uh, help you replace that. But some if you do live in a very old house that has an old chime, then uh, you may want uh, to um, to do that uh, to to get a new transformer. Uh, now. To let you know that um, you got to get your mindset about this, that, that if you do not pay for a plan, then you have an expensive doorbell that does nothing more than that. And so uh, I'm basically um, with the ring doorbell, the basic plan for the one unit, this is Canadian price, it's $3 US per month, and that allows you to record all the motion sensors and all the, all the stuff that the doorbell does. Um, if you don't, if you say I don't want a plan, I think Bill's has his has a hard drive in his unit, so you don't have to actually uh, pay for a plan. So uh, you have to look at this and and sort of factor that in because if you can't record anything, then you just have an expensive doorbell. And I think that's it. We'll probably have some questions about that later. Uh, and I'm going to turn this over. That, so that's on the doorbells. So the reason I wanted to mention that is if you're going to buy a ring doorbell, buy the one. If you have wired, get the wired only doorbell because that will have the on all the time. Now, um, Nest, which is makes it popular, they couldn't sell Nest. No one was buying Nest. It was horrible and it took a long time to turn on. Nest just brought out a new plan now where they leave the doorbell on all the time, 24 seven recording. And I think it's 120, 10 bucks a month or $120 a year, but it continually records, which gets around the whole problem of the slow startup, okay? So I just wanted everybody, if you're thinking about a doorbell, I know that Bill's gonna be doing a bigger talk on this whole thing, um, but I wanted to bring up this whole latency issue so that you're not unhappy when you buy your ring doorbell. All right, Huey, I'll send it over to you. Flip.com. Do you remember the days when we used to get a Sunday newspaper and it was one big thick newspaper and in the middle of it were all these circulars and ads for all the local stores. Now the newspapers hardly have any of those ads and, uh, and it costs you a lot of money. Well, if you miss those circulars and all those ads, you can find them in the front of each of the stores every week. Well, you don't want to go around to each of the stores and pick them up and then have to go home, look, at, look them over, and then go back to the store. Why not go to Flip.com, or if you have an Android or an iOS uh, device, you can download their app, and you can view all of the circulars from your area, or a good many of them anyway. I put in the zip code that I'm in, 34207. As soon as I do, it brings up all of the ads that are available, the circulars that are available in my area and that are current. And as I slide down here, you'll see that some of your favorite stores may be here. If I put in a different zip code, I may get a different list of stores. And the reason why is, uh, you know, not all stores are in all areas. So you're only going to see ads from your area when you put in your area code. So let's take a look at, let's say, the Walgreens ad. So we click on it. And there is their ad, and I can flip through the various pages. Now, there's several other things that you can do with this uh, application or uh, the website. When you find something is there, you can click on it. It will give you more information. You can clip the item, and it then keeps track of all the items that you clip. And it, circ and it circles them for you. It creates a little shopping list for you with the items that you clip. 
clip or click either one uh, you can then go to a different store you can look at you can set up favorites you can look at all the circulars for this area there's 66 of them so you can just kind of go down the page and they'll take a few seconds for them to come up but you can see the varied ones that are here then there's some other things you can go to a coupon page and on that coupon page are different coupons that you can select so let's say you're going to uh, uh, you want this particular one you want to get it for 99 cents 75 percent off you click that you tell it to clip the article now you'll notice that the shopping list went to three items and there's a coupon there and if you have a loyalty card you can clip directly to their loyalty card and uh, not sure how you do that but uh, there's well I guess when you do that it automatically sends it to them and then if we go to our shopping list we can take a look Oh, I'm not signed in, so that's why it wouldn't go, but it's here. There's the, co the coffee, and there was an earlier one that, that expired because it, it was a couple of weeks ago, and when I put it in, uh, it's no longer on sale, so it shows that it's no longer on sale. So, again, going back to the circulars at flip.com. Suppose.tv. Are you one of those who have cut the cord and fired your cable company? Are you thinking about doing that? You want to know what services are available, and one of the first things you want to do is make sure you know what programs you want to have available, and then find out which of the services have those on their, on their schedules. And this is difficult. So if you use the website, suppose.tv, you can do it very nicely. They have what they say is billions of combinations of TV services, and it finds the best for you. So what you, what you have to do is set your priorities and decide what programs you want to have. So let's say I want one of the local stations. I want the... Uh, uh, let's say the NBC station. Uh, by the way, you put in the area that you're in, and that it will note that. So let's say I want the NBC station, and I like the A and E under, uh, I believe it's under the entertainment, is it? Yeah, under entertainment. Notice you can see more here. Uh, so you pick and choose, and as soon as I do, the A and E network is there. And then uh, my other half likes the Hallmark Channel. So we're going to put the Hallmark Channel and the Hallmark Drama Channel. So these, and then you have to prioritize these. Which one is most important? Well, you know what? Robin comes first. So we're going to put the Hallmark Channels first. And then we're going to put NBC last. So then the ABC, uh, the A&E Network. So, by having that, it picks and chooses which services are available on the various, uh, through the, which of these are available on the various services. So, Philo looks like one of our better choices. It gives me an approximate cost of, for the month. All four of those are available. And there's 93 more channels. They have a free trial. There's a Philo offer available. And here's another one that has all four. Here's another, here's another, here's another. But here's one that doesn't have the A and E, but it has the other three. So that one I might not be interested in. But, uh, and you'll notice up here are some arrows, so I can go. Click that, and it will go to the next one. And as I'm adding more you can see sometimes this one here the NBC isn't available and there are other ones so as you add more and more let's say I wanted the uh, uh, Paramount Network and I also want uh, let's pick another one here uh, let's say the National Geographic and I want National Geographic before I want the NBC so I'm changing my priorities and so now you'll see if we go back, we're back on the first page again, there's a different one first. There's a sling that has all of them. And so does Vidgo have all of them. Now, Philo doesn't have National Geographic, so it's moved it over.
and then the sling. So you can go in, you can prioritize what you want. First, you, you make a list of the ones you want. You put them in the order that you want. And then what you do is refine and you uh, and look for the best choices. And you can move across. Sometimes it's combinations of them. Uh, as an example, let's go a couple of pages over. So in order to get all of them, I might have to go with sling, either the orange plus the blue. And then there's a four extras plus low cast. Uh, here's another one that's Hulu, live TV, and Philo, uh, and Philo in order to get all of them. And so that starts getting up there at seventy four ninety five because there's a combination of different ones with different pricing. So great website to decide, help you decide what channels you want and then what services provide those. That's suppose.tv. Thank you, Huey.